Well, according to some state polls, the Crisp County Cougars are the best baseball team in Quad A. With the state playoffs opening tonight, it was their chance to prove it. First game from the Cougar Dem, Crisp County making quick work of Spalding High School, winning 11 to 1 in six innings. Game two this evening, the Cougars are once again in control, leading 8 to 2 in the fifth inning. Now, to the bottom of that inning, we're going to go to a new pitcher, Taylor Walls, and he's jumping on the hill. He's, he's pretty good at striking out batters. First out, get Spalding looking. Now, next up, how about a check swing strike three? That still works for the second out of the inning. And then with a runner on second, Walls again. Got him looking. Three strikeouts to end this inning. Crisp County advances to the second round of the state playoffs. They take game two by the final score of 8-2. to two. And on to the single-A playoffs. The 4C Bacon Charter Blazer School hosting Turner County in the opener. Game one, the Rebels leading 9-6. to six. Check out that nice play there. Bacon tagged out by, at second by Ted Moore to give Turner County a one-game advantage with a 9-6 to six victory. Game two, Blazers getting on the board first. The hard-hit single by Tabor Rayleigh. Puts a Bakington runner on base. Now after some small ball, they move him over to second. Later, Tony Holland just gets enough of it on this one for another single. At first, Rayleigh's going to stop at third, but then the throw goes past the catcher's glove. Tabor Rayleigh coming in to score. Bakington takes a 2-0 lead out of the first inning, and it was a long game today at Blazer Field, but they will have a game three. Bakington defeats Turner County. Final score there, 16-9. And here we go to the high school scoreboard. Lee County season has ended in the first round at Stars Mill. Trojans fall by the final scores 10 to 0 and 6-1 over in Quad A. Westover held a lead against Locust Grove late in game one, but the Patriots lose it and are swept in the series 5-4, 9-4. Westover finishes the year with a record of 16 and 9. And one more from Quad A. Quite a baseball score here. Worth County loses 23 to 11 at Griffin in game one. Game two was a little bit more realistic. Unfortunately, Worth County falls in that one as well. Final score, 9-1. to one.